Well, I'm here uh, on Bowen Island uh, using Zoom to interview Tom Madsen. Uh, Tom, welcome to Park Bench Bowen Island, and uh, let's get right into the interview. Park Bench Bowen Island. Can you describe your business for us, please? You bet, Tim. Happy to, and thanks for uh, making time to help entrepreneurs on Bowen reach other people. Uh, the way I describe it is authority entrepreneurs hire me to help them build seven-figure incomes. We do that by packaging the wisdom in their brain, particularly business people's wisdom, into a way that can make a measurable difference in someone else's life, create a program around it, and then help them sell that program around the globe. Interesting. And uh, so does that involve a lot of travel? Uh, no, the good part about the internet is uh, it can all be done over the web. Uh, the travel that I do now is when I want to go and meet other people or, or learn from other people or some of my live masterminds that I lead um, will travel for that. But the actual work of helping people package their wisdom and uh, market around the world is all done over the web. My primary business partner is in wine country of New Zealand. It's a global platform. And, and thanks to platforms like Zoom, like we're on, you know, any entrepreneur can do it for 20 bucks a month. I mean, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. So uh, how did you get into this business? Well, I've been self-employed now for, gosh, 32 years. And uh, for me, originally, I started helping people grow their business, uh, marketing, marketing, consulting. I got into it. I loved it. I got better and better at it. I took every course and program I know. And I had developed this skill of being able to generate revenues really quickly for people. And then um, I started to realize that there was so much more to growing a business than just sales, uh, particularly the sustainability side. I began focusing on that. And then about uh, two years ago, I, I stumbled across a strategic relationship that launched the business that I'm in now. And I just love it. This is my highest calling. This is what I'm meant to be, meant to be doing on the planet. And I love it. What surprised you most about the business you're in currently? Oh, well, actually, you know what? That's a good question. I would say that comes from a book I read in the 90s called The Strategy of a Dolphin. And it says there are dolphins, sharks, and carp in the world. <laughs> so the sharks are the killer be killed. It's all about them. You know who we're talking about there, yeah. right? <laughs> right? You beat them and it's clear. It's all about yeah. them. Um, the dolphins are the team players. They're the ones where it's about the journey. It's about fun. It's about the pod. And then the carp are the ones always being eaten by the sharks. Every time you talk to them, Yeah. you call up and say, how you doing? And they say, Oh, I just got eaten by another shark. What? You just got eaten by one last week. I know I got eaten by another one this week. And every time you talk to them, they seem to be getting eaten by another shark. Yeah. Um, what surprised me most was a subcategory that I've now named enlightened shark. Enlightened shark acts like a dolphin, talks like a dolphin, walks like a dolphin, <laughs> but it's all about them. And what they've learned is that in order to get what they want, they have to help you get what you want. Uh -huh. So they are awesome people to market with. They're awesome people to business promote with, but you don't want to become a partner with them. Yeah. No. Because fundamentally, they're still a shark. It's still all about them. And I've had the pleasure of, of sharing the stage and, and getting to know behind the scenes, you know, Tony Robbins and Brendan Burchard and Jeff Walker and Lisa Sasevich and many of the biggest names in the world of training online in the world. And every single one of them behind the stage is an enlightened shark. Uh, definitely surprised me. Wow. Definitely surprising. Because see, dolphins think everyone else is a dolphin. <laughs> and so we get eaten by sharks too because we don't know any better. The difference in the wild, I don't know if you know this or not, Tim, but in the wild, sharks are the, the only creature they fear are dolphins. Because if they come after a weakened member of the pod, all the rest of the other dolphins will gang up on that shark and beat it senseless until it can't swim. Wow. And when it can't swim, a shark dies. Your, what are your customers like about what you do for them? What's, what's, the, what's their primary benefit? 
the the uh, full Embark partners that we work with, the, the biggest thing they like is that we do all the lead generation, lead conversion for them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Frankly, they they love and adore that. In fact, we have a, a partnership with a, a gal that is in what we call lovingly the woo woo space. Um, yeah. So her program is called Six Figure Woo Woo. <laughs> and, uh, you know, these are the energy healers, the crystal art people, you yeah. know, the namaste crowd, the whole bit. And uh, if you think the normal business person loves it, you should meet the woo-woo people. <laughs> <laughs> they adore it. They're yeah. like, oh, my God, you mean to say I just get to do my gift and you do everything else and find the prospect, convert them, educate them, market them, collect their money, and I just do my wisdom? And we do it like a partnership. Um, they love it. They absolutely love and adore it. So we all have wisdom. Yeah. We all have things that we've learned that could save time and money and effort for other people if they would only learn it beforehand. And uh, I love uh, helping people share that, uh, share that wisdom and knowledge. I mean, it's just such a, such an important part of the journey. I think that's, you know, the, the people say we're more connected than ever, but we're more disconnected than ever. Mm -hmm. I think part of it depends on the crowds you're hanging around with, right? If you're hanging around with people that can help you get more connected, you know, if you're in some good masterminds or you're in some good uh, advisory groups or boards, associations, things like that, you can really get some deep level of connection today that you couldn't do before, Yeah, that you couldn't do before, at least not easily. Out of the uh, ether and, and on to Bowen, what, uh, what brought you to Bowen Island? Blue-eyed Marys. Oh, really? Blue-eyed Mary's. Yeah, it was date night for myself and my wife. We would come. Our favorite restaurant in all of greater Vancouver was Blue-eyed Mary's. We would come over um, to, uh, to Bowen for that and enjoyed, massively enjoyed their food. And uh, we'd been coming, oh gosh, I don't know, a dozen times. And our son was three going on four. And uh, one of the conversations on the ferry ride back, we're like, we love it here so much. Why would we not consider raising our son here? Yeah. And uh, the next day, uh, my wife Kelly uh, went online and found a potential uh, place for us. And uh, 48 hours later, we had leased it for a five-year lease. <laughs> <laughs> so it became a rather, uh, okay, we're doing it. Let's go. Well, and, so and Bo, Fest, Bo Fest eight years ago, Tim, we moved over. Eight years. Okay. Well, that was the next question, of course, because you have to ask that question, right? Um, so eight years on Bowen. Uh, obviously, you, you uh, love Blue-Eyed Marys, but you didn't leave when they did. Uh, so no. there's something else you loved about the island. Damn you, Steve. Damn you. <laughs> No, we loved it. We loved the people. We loved the, uh, the uh, uh, friendly neighbors, loved the outdoors, you know, the beaches, the trails, um, the fresh air, you know, living in a temperate rainforest, the air is fresh yeah. often, right? The, you know, downside is we get a bit of rain, but the upside is it's fresh air. Like most people on Bowen, or many people on Bowen anyway, you, uh, I know, have gotten involved in, in uh, volunteer efforts here. Uh, can you talk a little about those? Yeah, I've been, been involved in multiple things. I uh, was involved in Rotary in my early days on the island when Pierce was around. Yeah. Um, and then uh, my son got all inspired to do some clean water work. And so we I helped him launch a uh, clean water project. Remember, uh, raised $14,000 for a clean water project in, e in Ethiopia. And uh, did a whole bunch of things around that. And then uh, most recently, I've joined the board of the Tunstall Bay Beach Club uh, on the west side of the island, and I'm the membership director there, um, and uh, love it, helping that, that uh, old uh, longtime club uh, prepare for the next 50 years. It's been around 48 years, and uh, it's going to need some good strategic planning to make another 48, so <laughs> we're working on that and, and uh, having fun with that. Oh, plus, as I like to say, Tim, I also, my, my coaching work that I do in the business coaching work yeah. on Bowen, I work for coffee or wine. Uh, <laughs> I don't charge my normal 2500 an hour rate that I charge Americans so that they think I'm smart. Um, I work for coffee or wine here. So um, if someone's watching this on Bowen and wants some business advice, I'm a cheap date. Well, uh, and I guess that's uh, what leads into my next question is what's the best way for someone to contact you? Uh, probably my primary email, tom at getittogether.com, tom at getittogether.com. 
um, or just Google my name. I'm in many of the Facebook groups, uh, Matson, M-A-T-Z-E-N. Um, well, I think, Tom, uh, I'm trying to keep these to uh, three minutes. So I think uh, I've got about 15 minutes in front of this that I can't use. And <laughs> then I got another 15 with you, I think. So uh, do you have any last uh, comments on, on Bowen or your business? Well, the, the, the last thing I would say for those of you that are living on Bowen and have wisdom, I would encourage you to consider finding ways to package that wisdom and, and get the word out there. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is we have a moral responsibility to help others. And if you're an entrepreneur and you've learned some lessons, you have a moral responsibility to help others that follow along. And so I encourage you to challenge it, whether you write a book or do some webinars or run some programs like Tina does, Tina Overbury, or, or, or help others do marketing like your better half does, Tim. There, there's so many ways to make a difference in people's lives. And with the internet, you can make a difference in people's lives all over the world and still enjoy the beautiful lifestyle here on Bowen. So I encourage you to do that. Well, spoken like a true dolphin. Thank you, Tom. Uh, it's been a <laughs> Not it's very good. I got my picture of dolphins back up there, but that's the best I can do. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this. You got it. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for me taking time.